Welcome to the ITU studio here at WTSA in New Delhi. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Alberto Hernando de Castro, uh, who is the CEO and founder of Kaido Dynamics. Alberto, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, um, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about Kaido Dynamics. So perhaps you can tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, what's brought you here to uh, WTSA. Yes, sure. Um, I'm a physicist by formation. My PhD was in uh, quantum physics. And Kaido Dynamics started with the idea of how we can apply all these computational quantum methods that we were using to understand the movement of atoms and particles, but to understand the movement of people. So what we are doing is that we are combining different technologies, different sources of data, as the mobile phone network operator data, um, satellite data, high definition uh, images from low orbit satellites, also telecommunication uh, satellites, connected cars, IoT. What we do is we put all this data together with different algorithms with a pilot that at the end give us some insights on the movement of people. How many people was visiting a location, how many people is moving from one point to another, and it has several applications, different verticals, like transportation, tourism, retail, marketing. Yeah, we are always finding new applications for the, for the data. Yeah. And why is this event important for you to be here? Uh, well, here there are many representatives of government that they are also our target for the data that we use, uh, for city planning, smart cities, but also mobile operators because they are our partners in the, in the process that we are, uh, that we are achieving with Cairo Dynamics. Yeah. Now, the pace of technology development seems to be accelerating. Uh, what kind of breakthroughs do you think we can anticipate in the coming years and decades? Well, it's definitely a very exciting moment because we see that artificial intelligence definitely reached a maturity that some years ago it was just a nice toy to have, but today it's a tool that actually has functionality that can, can be used. We are using it in different, in different points of our pipeline, but also in the human interaction. I think that uh, one of the most, of the biggest breakthroughs is how we humans can interact with machines now that we have GPT and similar solutions, right? Where we can use natural language in order to ask, in order to get a response. I think that's one of the major, of the major breakthroughs. Looking ahead, how do you envision technology transforming our society and what are the potential benefits and considerations for the future in your opinion? Actually for me as a physicist that uh, I was doing research, um, my goal was understand, understanding the, the nature, right? Um, but it was also my major limitation. Uh, we are humans after all and we have a limit in what we can understand, right? But artificial intelligence, they can go beyond that. I mean, probably the way to solve many of the global challenges that we have today, like uh, global warming, cure cancer, uh, you name it, probably they are beyond our understanding. Probably even if we try in one million years, we will never understand how the climate works in order to solve it. However, artificial intelligence has not that limitation. It's just a matter of how much computers you put, how much energy you give. There is no theoretical limit on how complex can be artificial intelligence. So I think that we are gonna reach a point where artificial intelligence is gonna give us solutions even if we don't deeply understand those solutions because they are literally beyond our understanding, right? So cleverer, cleverer than us um, <laughs> and faster uh, and more efficient. Yes, on a scale, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. Alberto Hernando de Castro, thank you so much for joining us in the studio thank today. You. And uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you again in another one of these events. Perfect, yes. Glad to meet you again. <laughs> thank yeah. you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, if you've enjoyed uh, this interview, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on SoundCloud, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts from. And for further information, visit us at uh, www.itu.int. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>